and welcome to the Entertainment Vortex. Today, we were at Brennan Theaters watching Angel Has Fallen. I had not actually seen the first two movies. I went back to watch the first movie, and I only made it 30 minutes in. That is really rare for me. I do not walk out of movies or turn off movies while I'm watching them. But there was something about this movie that really bothered me. And while this is not a review for the first movie, I think it's important to explain this one point, to explain what this movie is and what it did better and what it did worse. The first movie is, you know, one of those mindless action movies. You go in there expecting big explosions, crazy action scenes, all the wonderful things you see in these high action movies. What you don't expect to see is super deep story. You don't expect to see genius level acting. It's just not what you see in these movies. Uh, with the rare exception of something like John Wick, uh, you usually go into this for brainless fun. With that idea, you have to have a certain level of suspending disbelief. Now that means that you're okay with something not being realistic because you know it's all in good fun. But there is a line in the sand you have to draw when it comes to suspension of disbelief. You can only go so far into the ridiculous before it gets really, really ridiculous. And I think that the first movie, he's the first 30 minutes of it was that in spades too ridiculous for the first 10 minutes you've got this amazing scene with all the secret service doing all their great stuff implementing their plan acting on what's happening reacting to how they're supposed to save who they're supposed to save all this stuff 10 minutes later the big event happens in the movie and every american soldier forgets how to hold their gun basically everybody's running into gunfire no one's behind cover people are just acting stupid like they're not trained at all i'm like if i could think of a smarter thing to do and i've never been trained before that's written poorly so i couldn't make it through the first movie so because of that going into this movie the third movie i was really nervous i was not gonna like it but that being said i was pleasantly surprised because while you definitely need a heaping helping of suspension of disbelief in this movie i don't think it goes past that line of ridiculous maybe one or two times it does but nothing quite as horrible as Olympus Has Fallen did. Angel Has Fallen kind of straddles that line, but never really jumps over it. Most of the time, it's, it's well on the good side of that one. Uh, you have amazing action scenes, some surprisingly really well done performances. Like, the best way to describe this movie is it put more effort than it really needed to. It, a lot of points of this movie. Special effects, choreography, uh, Nick Nolte's entire performance and character. There was really more effort and more time put into those things that I really expected. With that being said, it is still a brainless action movie. If you're hoping to see things get blown up, if you're looking for some cool gunplay, if you're looking for some cool drone play, because that was really cool, you're looking for like a neat story that's not too one-dimensional, but is really predictable. I think this is one of those movies that lies in the, it's not a bad movie, and it's not a good movie. It's just kind of a movie you know it, it was a it was a fun watch i enjoyed it i'm not gonna watch it again but i'm glad i saw it if someone said hey should i go watch this i'd say well are you in the mood for x y and z i dig a little deeper to find out if this is the right person to watch this movie because it's not going to be an all audiences kind of movie so if you are in the mood for extremely good action extremely good special effects big explosions and a pretty interesting story and a surprising performance from Nick Nolte, jump into this one. Go see it. You'll enjoy it. If you're in the mood for something deeper, if you're in the mood for some overall good acting and character development, this isn't your movie. And I don't think you watch the trailer thinking this is that movie. At least you shouldn't though. This movie is exactly what it's advertising itself as. It's a brainless action movie that's done just good enough to warrant going to see. So I'm going to give this movie a 6.5 out of 10. It's not a bad movie. It's not a great movie. If it interests you, give it a try. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We give you multiple videos every single week. And we have t-shirts available if you're interested in those as well. Those are available down in the description below. We hope you'll follow us into the Vortex. We'll see you next time.